Welcome into the Coach Esposito post-game show here in the non-players locker room. As you can see, this is a secluded matter. Right now, Coach, there was a little interesting conversation we had as we were leaving the ice here. Is it true that this is where they sent Dick Cheney on 9-11 on to make sure the terrorists didn't get him? <laughs> like, I don't know. I think it was something like this. I was banned to this room to the night for the night, so I don't know. Um, you know, I, I, I got to look to see a little bit of the game, but most of the night I was in the locker room here. I was on the computer doing some work for the next game. And, and tonight, the Whalers take this 3-1, two, two goals by Alec Kirshner, a tremendous night for, for, for Nick Nieder. He looked really primed tonight to go and, and prove himself tonight. Yeah, Nicky came back from Elmira, all primed and ready to go. He was up there for a couple weeks, uh, spent some time sitting in, in, on the bench there, backing up, you know, for the, their starter over there, who's a really good goalie up there in Elmira. Um, he got his chance to play there, and then he sent him back, and now he's here and he's ready to go. He's all reared up about, you know, uh, playing tonight, and uh, once again, we fall victim of the sword again because uh, I believe as of tomorrow morning, Nicky's going to Bridgeport up there in the American Hockey League and um, he's going to spend the weekend up there. So, I mean, we'll muddle through again. Now I mean, we've got another very good, you know, another very good goalie here, Peter Vetri, and, and I'm sure he'll come to play this weekend for us. Now, once again, it was different. It, it was it was different line combinations, but, but the second line came through. Matt Mopp with the game-winning goal. What does he bring to, to the ice with, with his experience playing last year in Europe? Well, like I said, we, we were I was all over Ma for a while there at the beginning of the year because he wasn't getting any points and things and he wasn't he wasn't you know, the puck was just wasn't dropping for him and, and I told him just to keep fighting through and uh, and he, and things were gonna happen and he, he got up there, he's, he's been moving his feet really well, he started taking the body, he opened up some ice for himself and now he's getting goals. I mean I think he's got four goals in the last two games or something, so he's doing pretty well. Now this is this is the end of of, of your five game suspension. What have you been able to see on the ice without getting into too, too specific a detail because a magician never, never reveals his secrets. What is it that you've been able to see when you've been off the ice and not in the locker room and not on the bench that you've been able to see from your, from your vantage points both at the ice arena and on the road? Actually, you know, when, when, when you watch a game from up top there, it's so much easier to determine what's going on and what the breakdowns are because you can see everything from above. Um, and you could see the breakdowns just kind of as they happen. You know, you kind of predict them at some point too. Um, and it's so much easier to coach from up there actually than it is to coach from the bench because when you're on the bench, you got so much, so many things going on. You got so many other uh, issues going on that it's really hard to uh, to, uh, to to see what actually is is the breakdowns. You know, from from ice level. So me sitting up there probably did probably did a little good because I got to do some evaluation of some of the players and things like that and stuff. And you know, obviously you saw a new face in the, in the lineup there tonight, and we we got another new face coming in uh, this week. And you know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna change things up a little bit, put a little bit more spark in the lineup, and we're gonna we're gonna roll from there. Well, coach, this is it on uh, Friday night. Uh, against New Jersey, you're back on the bench. Right, once again, great, great job. And can we maybe stop getting suspended by the league? Can we put you on on, on, on the straight and narrow now? Have you learned your lesson? I believe I have, but you know, it would be nice if I actually did something to get suspended for. So, um, you know, but anyway, you know, the water under the bridge now, suspension's over. Um, you know, now we're going to get back to work and we're going to get back into uh, winning hockey games and climbing up the ladder here in the Federal Hockey League. All right, Coach, thanks again for your time. Whalers win 3-1. We'll be back with the player of the game, Alec Kirshner.